So last year, our printers told us that they had bought a new press system which could deliver the type of glossy pages that you see in the Globe and Mail and magazines, and they offered to allow us to use it. So we thought about it for a while, and we agreed that we wanted to use it, but if we did, we wanted to make some changes to the paper as well. And so that's why the redesign to tabloid happened. Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. I'm Justin Mathroy, coordinating editor of the UBC. You know, when you pick up our newspaper this week, you might find a few differences. That's because for the first time in nearly 50 years, we've changed the size of the UBC and have also done a complete redesign, hoping that it will create a more informative, engaging newspaper for you, the reader. Let's take a look. Uh, why, hello there, print managing editor Johnny Wakefield. Nobody told me we were doing this again. Hey Johnny, can you tell me a little bit about the redesign? Oh, I'd love to, Justin. Let's uh, let's walk over here. You're supposed to say, say can, can, can you tell me a little bit about the redesign? Can I? First thing you're gonna notice is the gloss, the sort of sound of the paper. You look for the, you know, the the sonic elements that you get from it. That's a little, it's a little louder. Newspapers used to be a little louder, but uh, just stop it right now. <laughs> What we have on this new design is uh, we have a lot more flexibility in the kind of stories we're able to tell in terms of story length, in terms of graphics we're going to be able to present, um, supplementary information and side boxes. Um, it's going to be, it's going to be a, a product that's a lot easier to digest. You're going to have uh, different courses okay. that you can go through uh, depending on what your uh, particular taste is at the time. It's big, it's blocky, it pulls a lot from papers that have recently been redesigned, such as the Globe and Mail and Extra West. You get more vibrant blacks, more vibrant whites. We've tried to pull a lot of color into this. Uh, it will be eight pages of color every issue, at minimum. It will be eight pages of glossy every issue. And it's really going to pull together this newspaper this year to try and 